Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review. Welcome to the Rock and Review. My special guest today, Cherish Lee. She is the uh, daughter of uh, Johnny Lee, the famous uh, country musician, and also Charlene Tilton. Yep. And uh, you're you're such a great singer songwriter. And I've been trying to get you on since this album came Thank out in you. Feb so because I love it. You know when uh, when the PR people sent me Tequila Cowgirl and. Uh, all the tracks on here, you know, and, and you first released, let's see, the first hit you came out with was Tequila Cowgirl, yep. and that's done so well. And then your second one now has been Ones You Leave Behind, which is very special to you, as yeah. we talked about on the news interview. But, I mean, a lot of fun songs on here, and, and you even had a guest singer on the one. It kind of threw me when I heard the male voice open up. I'm like going, <laughs> wow, Cherish's voice really got deeper on this song. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I cover many different areas in this uh, album. But, no, I, actually, so this was the first song that I ever wrote in Nashville. And I wrote it with a dear friend of mine, Bill DeLuigi. And uh, so it, it's a love song, and it's called Every uh, One Pill. Right. Wait, what's the yeah. song? My album yeah. called? It's called One Pillow Over. <laughs> right. And, uh, what a great title. Too. Thank you. And it, everything I need is One Pillow Over. And it's just, it's a, it's a love song, man. And uh, so we had Mike from Mike and the Moon Pies, a yeah. Texas group, uh, record it. I'll tell you what, he sounds great on it. And I then, and then when you voice. did that live thing we were talking about that Lewis Bryce yeah. sat in. You know, it's so funny too, Cherish. I've been keeping up with you. And, uh, you know, on social media and everything, it's like you've been doing the Opry, the, you've done the Bluebird, <laughs> you've done the Ryman. You know, you've, you've toured around with your dad. Yeah. You know, and so you were raised I in cook, L.A. I cook, I clean. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I am a you mom. got a family. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All these great things. <laughs> but it's like you've got so much going on right now. And, and this album's really been taken off for you. And, yeah. and the tracks to me, I'll tell you what impresses me and I want to share this with our viewers is that you did this whole album for fifteen hundred dollars I know who does that seriously <laughs> <laughs> yeah I uh, I had fifteen hundred bucks to make this album I was stuck in contractual agreements uh, the music business yeah yeah uh, so when I got the free and clear I had fifteen hundred bucks to make it and uh, wow. everybody was like love you girl that's just not you know a possibility and I said well where there's a will there's a way and you can accomplish what you can see and right. uh, yeah, you don't know Cherish Lee, so yeah. uh, recorded it in a basement in here in Nashville. Oh my gosh! And uh, paid some musicians with beer. They were I will work for beer. All musicians will do yeah. that. Yeah, hey, I and, will. Work and you for throw in pizza, you got them longer. You know. <laughs> well, actually, so the funny thing is, so when I released the first single, Tequila Cowgirl, right. Um, we were driving back, my husband, my baby, and I, and I think one of the dogs, the, the dogs were, yeah, the dogs were with us. Um, and we get a phone call from a company called G4 Tequila. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they're new in the United States, but they've been making tequila since, uh, I think, like 1937 in Mexico. Well, it seems like your song did kind of fit them. It was, I, so they, they were like, <laughs> we love tequila cowgirl. I'm like, well, send over your tequila. And I was like, it's incredible. So I was like, by God, let's get married. And there you go. You know, if you've got to have an endorsement deal as a musician, I think that's a good one. You know, yes. I mean, what, what a great pick. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, either that or like, I don't know, a, a Botox. Yeah, no, Can but I, I mean, I mean if, if, if it's not, you know, if it's not, you know, adult <laughs> beverages, it would have to be some kind of food or yeah. something or, you know. Or boots. Yeah, boots. See, that would work for you. So, but I mean, I, this album though, and, and even the photography and everything on it, you know, it's just such a cool album and, and you got so many great hits on here. Thank you. And, and you've got the video also that came out for Ones You Leave Behind and yeah. that came out not long ago. Well, actually, that's so funny that you said the thing about the photography and, and then even the new video. This whole thing has been a love project. People right. have been involved with it because they wanted to be a part of it. They love the songs. They love mm -hmm. the stories. Um, and I'm forever grateful. The album was 1500 bucks to make my friend Lauren uh, she's done all the photography wow. and the new video you wouldn't even believe what I you know the price that <laughs> it was and it, it was that uh, people believed in it right. so they wanted to be a part of it and we had a uh, Stacia Crawford direct the video yeah. uh, little sweet Draper Witherspoon Reese oh. Witherspoon's niece uh, wow. plays little me and uh, Adrian Korea, who's a DP on Glow, he's yeah. a DP on this video. And Great video. Great thank video. Thank you. Yeah, and you yeah. released that on the, the boot, right? Yeah. That's where it first came out on. Yeah. Now, I wanted to bring up, too, and I don't mean to embarrass you. No. But, you know, but, uh, you, know you, were, you were brought up as, with Billboard as one of the 15 country artists to watch. I know. And apparently they were right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know, but how quickly a year goes by. I'm like, yeah. oh, no, so yeah. what do I do now? I had a proof of that. Yeah. And you said you're already working on new songs and everything oh, for, yeah. like, the next album. Yes. I am. I've got songs 
ready to rock and roll for the next album. So I think we're going to look at actually recording here in the next month. Um, I'm going to possibly release some Christmas songs. Oh, how so, nice. Yeah. Now, also, I was checking out to Cherish to where you can download the songs, obviously, through Spotify and iTunes as singles and all. But now with the albums, can they go to your website and get, like, get an autographed copy and everything? I need to get more CDs printed up, yes. <laughs> uh, so just give me a minute. Uh, yeah. But yes, uh, eventually... I should probably do that. And then you're going to have them out on tour with you. And yeah, I, absolutely. And I know, it, it's so, to me, it's so great. And I, and I love seeing family. But, you know, seeing you and your dad, like, on the Opry stage and stuff like that, it just kind of warms my heart. And knowing your dad, having him on the show before, and, and Johnny's just such a straightforward, <laughs> honest character. Yes. And, and he's a country music icon. He is, he is. And he is so fun. And he just, he pushes that line, man. And he is the only one I know that can get away with <laughs> <laughs> what he gets away with. We were we were at the Ryman, and I didn't perform with him this time, but I had my son Wyatt. Yeah. And he wanted to bring Wyatt out on stage. He's so proud of him. And uh, anyways, so bring Wyatt out, and the first song Wyatt's playing with the mic and bringing it down, and Dad's, and it's, I mean, everybody's eating it up. Oh, that's so incredible. And it's adorable. But there, what maybe a lot of people don't know, at the Opry, you have a, a sign language interpreter on the other side. I don't know if this is appropriate for the show, yeah, but of course. anyway, so he uh, he starts kind of doing the thing, and, doing, and and I think anybody else who would have done that would have been, I mean, the whole thing would have been so offensive. Right. But it was he was so endearing when yeah. he did it, and after the song is over, I get Wyatt, take yeah. him off stage, and he goes, "Ain't that the cutest peckerhead you've ever seen?" <laughs> and then he looks at the interpreter at the mother church, and he right. goes, "Now how do you say that?" <laughs> And we were just like, oh, my God. Uh, and he, I mean, and he's been asked back, so I, right. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, but your dad, you know, even when he came in the studio the last time, <laughs> i got to tell you, Cherish, it's so fun. I mean, he's cracking jokes. Like I told you, I wish I had the camera rolling the whole time he was here. Yeah. It's like going, I just want these moments, you know, because yeah. he's so funny. Well, and I was going to bring up, too, you have Wyatt's song on this album yeah, also. Yeah, that's for my and baby. I, and I love that song. Thank you. It's yeah. kind of like a country Beatles tune, if you will. I, I was like, you know what, we're just... I don't really care what genre it is, mm -hmm. what have you. I just, I want that, that, uh, just that fun feel because the first line is, uh, you know, ballroom waiting your invitation, <laughs> heaven sent, yes, angels hung the chandelier. Well, so in my mind, like, when Wyatt's coming into this world, it's like, there's a ballroom and these curtains open and there's a zebra on a unicycle and <laughs> angels hanging the chandelier and there's yeah. like this whole, you know, childlike world and he's seeing wow. everything for the very first time and mm -hmm. uh, oh, it makes me cry. He, so th that song is just like... I love the song, you know, it's like, it's one of those it. where, you know, <laughs> listening to it, I kept listening to it because, and that's the thing too with your album, with, with Tequila Cowgirl, I gotta say on a tour, it, it, it doesn't fit one genre. You kind of got some kind of rocking. Mm -hmm. You got some kind of traditional. But, you know, it's, it's, very, it's very fresh. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. People always ask, they're like, so who, who would you compare yourself to? I'm like, uh, <laughs> I, I have no idea. I, who, 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 so who would you compare me to? Wow, that's a, it's kind of a genre bender because, I mean, you know, because it's like I hear, like I said, I hear the rock and roll in it. Yeah. I hear the country in it. I can hear some of your dad's you know, straightforwardness in it. Yeah. You know? The best advice that I was ever given, and I think maybe that's why I can't really pinpoint it, uh, he said, he's like, don't ever try to sound like somebody else. Right. Don't ever try to do somebody else because it's already been done. Do you. There's one you. And uh, that's what's going to make you successful. And so. it's working. Well, I want to bring up two for our viewers now. Yeah. Where's the best place for them to find, you know, your tour, the music, everything else on the web, social media, you everything? You are so, so sweet. Okay, because this is so important. Um, I'm taking it back old school, so I, I, the fans have to be involved. So it's www.cherishleemusic.com. And, uh, yeah, I'm on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, follow me. I'll follow you back. I want to see what you're doing. It's and I really want the participation because you guys are the reason why I'm able to do what right. I do. Right. And it's that to me is so special. I mean, the fact that my dad is, you know, got a brand new tour bus. The man is still on the road touring oh, and he's got these fans that 
that love him and they're so loyal yeah. and he's out there doing shows with Mickey Gilly and all the shows have been sold out. Oh, I'm sure. So, he told me the last time I had him on, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going out back with Mickey and I'm talking with some other people. And I had interviewed him for his new book. Yeah. And that came out. It's I, like, he's not slowing down. No, so he's that's not. So that's a great idol. That's good genetics. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I think what I learned from him is that uh, after every show he does, he will stay until the last autograph wow. has been signed. So wow. um, I, I just admire that. And he realizes the importance of you guys. So. Yeah. I do too. Thank yeah, you. it's so incredible. I'll tell you what, pick up a copy or download it. Tequila yeah, download Cowgirl. It. And it is Cherish Lee. And I'm telling you what, you're going to love every song in here. I'm so excited to hear about the new music you're coming out with next year. It's very good. And possibly Christmas holiday music. Yep. So uh, you can catch her also, you know, playing at the Bluebird, sometimes Ryman, yeah. Grand Ole Opry, out on tour. I mean, you played what? Uh, South by Southwest, CMA Fest. Yeah. You yep. know, you've been like all over the place. Yeah. Just testing out the songs. Got well, a great album. <laughs> Thank you. Be sure and download so this new album. I think you're going to love it. Cherish Lee. Yeah. Thanks for watching the Rock Interview. Bye, guys. Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review.